Hi friends, my name is Tony Yates and today I want to talk to you about SuperOffice extensibility points. I'll provide you with an overview of the different customization options available to both customers and partners alike. The two ways that I like to think about this are first, in-product customization options and of course there are external integration capabilities. The in-product customization options are where individual users go in and set their personal preferences or administrators go in and configure things like user roles or functional permissions and default system behaviors. Here in the in-product customizations, both administrators and technical consultants alike can access the advanced automation features that enable a wide range of capabilities that we'll talk about more in just a minute. The second way I'll discuss this will be in a different video, actually, the follow-up to this one. There, I'll look at the extensibility endpoints and APIs. But in this video, I want to go ahead and cover just the first topic, the in-product customization feature. So let's go ahead and begin. Inside SuperOffice, users can click the hamburger menu in the top right-hand corner and then click on the last option in the list to open up the settings and maintenance uh, feature. This is commonly referred to as admin. So only users with administrator access can open up this area. This is also where all in-product customization features reside. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at each one of these properties. Under roles, administrators can go ahead and assign user rights and functional rights, which basically enable behaviors for specific users such as the ability to view dashboards, manage support cases, and administrate list items. The list setting is where different types of lists are defined and managed. Lists have many forms inside SuperOffice. For example, drop-down menus inside SuperOffice CRM, as well as selectable list controls. These are all lists containing list items. Makes sense, right? So these are predefined list items, but all lists are highly customizable. Lists also present the space where administrator manage list items like project type, sale type, and document types, even document templates, and things called task menu items. And I'll get into that in a little bit. The web panels lists is where you can create iframes that define external web pages inside SuperOffice. So lists are where most of the configuration and customization options inside SuperOffice occur. Saint stands for sales intelligence and is used to set status monitors and create follow-ups based on a flexible set of criteria. Privacy is where administrators configure GDPR settings they establish purposes and policies, all of which determine how SuperOffice interacts with people using SuperOffice marketing features such as mail-ins. Workflow is the area where you configure both the sales guide and the project guide. And these guides help establish corporate guidelines, for example, when dealing with sales and project processes. The Screen Designer is a powerful customization tool where administrators go to configure all of the main screens inside SuperOffice. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in just a minute. While individuals can go ahead and set their own personalized user preferences, users also establish system-wide preferences for everyone for various behaviors inside the preferences area. For example, preferences can determine whether standalone contacts can exist without being assigned to a company. They also are used to determine whether sales can be configured for different currencies. In the options screen, this is where you find the settings that pertain to free text searches, time zones, number allocation, labels, and reports. The field screen is where you define custom fields that extend the default fields available on all primary entities such as company, contact, project, sale, follow-up, and document. The system design area exposes functionality that used to only exist inside the service module. But today, it's used to create custom tables and even more custom fields 
on the existing entities. And I'll talk more about that in the next section. All of these settings are documented. Many have videos about what they are and how to use them up on docs.superoffice.com. Now, let's go ahead and explore more of the automation and workflow capabilities inside SuperOffice. The first is custom objects, which can expand the number of available fields or properties on the existing screens. Custom objects also represent custom tables that can be created to hold even more data about related default objects in SuperOffice. Next up is the customer engagement platform. This is a customer centric feature where you as a SuperOffice user or company can provide your customers with a website they use to help themselves to various support content, including the ability to submit their own support requests that your support team answers. The customer center also is a place where you publish your FAQs, where your customers find their own answers to frequently asked questions. The chatbots and forum capabilities, these can be embedded on your web pages for interacting with customers. Um, for example, to be used to create surveys or enable subscriptions and things like that. The customer center plays a big role in creating an all around positive experience for both you and your customers. Next up, CRM script. CRM script is a powerful proprietary scripting language built into SuperOffice. CRM scripts have direct access to all SuperOffice APIs and can perform almost any ima action imaginable. CRM scripts can be triggered by webhooks and used to process or synchronize data across separate systems. CRM scripts can react to save triggers performed inside the web client. This means anytime a user creates or saves an existing company inside SuperOffice, it will invoke a CRM script where that CRM script can perform validation, automatically process additional data based on unique business rules. CRM scripts can also be used to display simple web pages, and they can be configured to behave like REST endpoints that receive external data from external systems. Referring back to the list section, there's a list item called task menu list, which contains list items that appear as task menu items inside SuperOffice. These task menu list items can, when clicked, invoke a CRM script that processes data based on sources of that event. As a side note here, I wanna add that later in 2024, SuperOffice will release JavaScript for SuperOffice. This will be the next generation of scripting inside SuperOffice. So instead of writing proprietary CRM scripts, customers will be able to write automation scripts using JavaScript instead. Next up, we have the Screen Designer. The Screen Designer is a very powerful customization tool that can be used to configure the look and behavior of all main screens inside SuperOffice. Each main screen can be configured to look and behave differently based on the current user's user group. Eventually, this area may be used to create custom screens and dialogues based on custom objects, but that's still just a wish at this point. However, it is in the backlog and it is on the product roadmap. Next, we have the SuperOffice App Store. This is a website that lists all certified SuperOffice online applications where customers can browse and install to extend the functionality of SuperOffice CRM. Some of the applications are free, such as SuperOffice for Outlook and Zapier, while others are developed by partners and generally depend on a paid version or subscription plan. To find out more information about any of the apps in the App Store, go ahead and visit appstore.superoffice.com. Originally developed as a feature only to be used by certified online applications, Database Mirren is now available to customers as an app subscription. It acts like a database replication service. Customers who subscribe to the Database Mirren service are provided an IIS application that they must configure in their local environment. When Database Mirren is enabled in the developer portal, SuperOffice will periodically send all new and updated data from their SuperOffice instance in the cloud 
to the IIS application. There, it will persist the data in a near replica in a SQL Server database. Next up, and the last item on this list, is Flows. Flows is an automation feature that enhances the marketing capabilities of SuperOffice based on timing, frequency, segments, and activities. Flow is like a general automation solution for supporting different marketing scenarios like onboarding programs, event signups, and regular subscription programs. Flows is still in development, and the documentation will be updated as this information becomes available underneath the marketing information on Docs. So that's all for now. You can get all the details about each one of these product features up on SuperOffice Docs. You can also check out and ask questions about all of these topics or any other topics up on the community website on community.superoffice.com. Stick around though because in the second part of this video I'll go ahead and discuss the external integration options and provide an overview of the SuperOffice APIs. Till then, thanks for watching. Bye now.